Hey guys. So this is a video that a lot of you guys have been requesting. Literally every week somebody messages us to do a video showing how we groom our cats, specifically our Maine Coons. So this video has been on the list for a long time and I am going to warn you guys this is going to be a long video because I want it to be as informative as I possibly can. For this video, Molly will be our model. Molly is a Maine Coon and she is three, almost four years old now. And she is our first Maine Coon we've ever had. And we have been brushing Molly since we got her. We've been brushing all of our cats since we brought them home. I think it's really important when you first bring home your kitten to get them used to brushing because it will make it easier when they get older and I know this because I've experienced it with our cats and I've noticed that the more we brush them the easier it gets and I do want to say that not all cats enjoy being brushed but there are some ways that you can try to make it more enjoyable for them such as using positive reinforcement or using treats our Maine Coons are obsessed with food and they're very food motivated so when they know they're going to get a reward after they get brushed, then they look forward to it more. We often get asked how often we brush our cats and it's honestly different for each cat. So not all cats are good at grooming themselves. Some cats are lazy about it. For example, our cat Luna is very lazy and she's not good at grooming herself, so she needs help. So we do brush Luna pretty much every single day. And Molly here, she's pretty good about grooming herself, so we don't actually brush Molly every day. Our other cat, Annie, she's not a Maine Coon, and her fur feels totally different from our Maine Coons. Annie's fur feels more silky and soft, and I'll be honest, we actually don't brush Annie that often. Like, not even once a week, because she's really good about grooming herself, and her fur doesn't ever get knotted or matted, and she just doesn't need the brushing that our Maine Coons do. So we don't brush Annie as often as we brush our Maine Coons. Our kitten Moose, who is bomb video bombing right now, he doesn't need uh, brushing that much right now because he's a kitten, so his coat hasn't developed in the way that Molly's has. As you can see, Molly's fur is a lot longer, but we're still brushing Moose because we want him to get used to brushing. So even though it feels kind of pointless to just run a brush over his fur because his fur is really short, we're still brushing him so that he can get used to it. So I guess the answer that everyone always asks us is how often we brush our Maine Coons is it varies, but usually several times a week. And we brush them more when they're shedding more, like for a new season. Maine Coons are long-haired cats, which means they have long fur and it's a good idea to brush them because then stuff won't get stuck in their fur. And the more you brush them, the less likely they are to develop matting. And even when you brush them, like every single day, they can still get knots. I, I know that because we've experienced it with Molly. We've never taken our cats to the groomers. I'm not a professional groomer by any means. This is just my way of showing you guys how we brush our cats. And I'm not perfect and I may be doing some things wrong, but this is what we do. And this is what we've done for years. Another question we always get asked is, how often do we bathe our cats? And I know a lot of people are strongly against bathing your cat because they think cats don't need baths. And I just wanna say that I honestly think the people who say that to us do not have a Maine Coon or a long-haired cat because if we never bathed our cats, they would be really stinky, greasy, and messy. And the main reason we give them baths is to help keep them clean and their fur is always so soft right after a bath and I honestly think that they appreciate it because their mood seems to lift after they get a bath. But we do bathe our cats one to two times a year. Uh, when they were kittens, we used to bathe them more because they got messy faster. But yeah, we usually just bathe our cats one to two times a year and all cats are different. So some cats may get stinkier than others. Uh, for example, our cat Luna, she's not very good at grooming herself so she tends to smell worse faster but yeah we bathe our cats and we do it ourselves and we groom our cats ourselves we just find it less stressful for them and for us because we don't have to load them up in the car and bring them and also pay for the groomer i think it's so much better if you can do it at home yourself and it makes your pet feel a lot less stressed especially if you have a cat it can be really stressful to bring your cat to the groomers 
Another thing a lot of people ask us is, have we ever shaved our Maine Coons or our cats? And no, we've never fully shaved them. I personally don't like the idea of shaving your cat because your cat needs their coat and their fur to help regulate their body temperature. And I also just don't see the need because we brush our cats. If they have a knot, then we deal with it. And I think that usually people will get their cat shaved when they have a ton of knots. And I understand that, but we've never felt the need to shave our cats completely. And we never have done that. And we never will do that because I think that they need their coats and their coats are so beautiful that I would feel horrible if we shaved them. And yes, I know they grow back, but I just don't feel the need, but I'm not putting anyone down who does that because I do understand that, that some people have their reasons for doing that, but we personally don't do that with our cats. So before you start grooming your cat, you will need tools, obviously. So these are some tools that we use like every single week in our house, including treats. So this tool here is a nail clipper and we use this to trim our cat's nails. Now we don't do this every single time before we brush our cats because that would be a lot of nail trimming. We do trim our cat's nails every two weeks, except for Moose because he's a kitten. So we trim his every week because his nails grow much faster. But if you've never trimmed your cat's nails before, then I would suggest doing that so that way they don't accidentally scratch you. And it's just a good idea to get your cat used to getting their nails trimmed every two weeks, especially if they're indoor cats like ours are. And we do have a video on YouTube uh, from a few years ago of us trimming Molly's nails so you can see how we do it. So what you do is you get the claw, push it out. You see that there's the white part and the pink part. So you wanna get it between there and go right before the pink part. You don't wanna to go too far or they'll bleed. Normally my wife and I do this together. I'll hold her while she clips or I'll clip and she'll hold her. But just for the video, I'm gonna do it by myself. The next tool that you will probably need is scissors. So we only use the scissors to cut out knots in our cat's fur if they have a knot and we can't brush it out. These are cat scissors, they cut a lot better than regular scissors. The next tool we use often is this comb here. So this is from Chewy.com and we use this for knots as well. So we just brush out the knots and if they don't come out, then we will cut them but I would highly recommend using a comb instead of a brush for knots because it works so much better. The next tool that we use, this is the tool we use the most, is this brush. So this brush is from Amazon. It was actually sent to us for a collaboration and I ended up really liking this brush. So we kept it and this brush is the brand Yotellum. And one thing I really love about it is it has soft bristles so it doesn't hurt your cat. Uh, if your cat has sensitive skin, it doesn't hurt their skin when you brush them. And on the back, there's this button that you can push to release the fur after you're done brushing, which I love. So I would highly recommend this brush and, or a brush similar to this. And this brush was only $10, which is really affordable. And this here is called a pet clipper. And I got this off Amazon as well. We use this to do sanitary trims on our cats, like around their butt and hind legs area. And we also use it for shaving out knots if we don't feel like cutting them out because that tool honestly works so much quicker. And then don't forget treats or something that your cat will love. So if your cat loves food, then you may want to get their favorite food or their favorite treats. If your cat loves toys, then you may want to reward them with their favorite toy and play with them after. But it's a good idea it's for them to have some kind of reward. 
so that they look forward to it and they will remember that they're supposed to get that reward because our cats wait for their treats after we brush them. Molly here is obsessed with food and treats. She goes crazy for them and I honestly feel like she tries to act her best because she knows she's gonna get a treat after. Okay, so now we're gonna demonstrate how we brush Molly. So we just brush her with gentle strokes and she's used to this. She's been brushed a thousand times or more, actually way more than that. My husband's demonstrating right now and Molly loves to be brushed. As you can see, she's looking really happy. And so usually we do like her back first. So we usually just lift up their chin and brush their mane out because they do get knots under there a lot and sometimes their wet food will get stuck in their mane. Good job, Molly. Good girl. We want them to feel like it's a positive thing, so it's really important to praise your cat. We do brush their bellies because we find they tend to get the most knots there, especially under their armpits or just anywhere on their belly, they tend to get knots. We usually brush their bellies last because cats have sensitive stomachs and they don't usually like being touched there, so we usually save the hardest for last. And we usually don't brush our Maine Coon's tails because we don't usually need to, so we usually just leave their tail alone. We usually don't take this long to brush our cats. I'm just demonstrating for this video so it feels like it's taking forever. It usually only takes a few minutes a day to brush our cats. And then after we're done brushing Molly, we just get out the fur and push the button. And then we just throw the fur away usually. It's good to brush your Maine Coon because then their fur doesn't get knotted as easily and then you won't find fur all over your house. I mean, you probably still will even if you brush them, but this definitely helps reduce the amount that your Maine Coon will shed all over your house. And while we were just brushing Molly, we noticed that she had a knot on her belly, so we'll show you guys how we get it out. And usually I will just hold Molly on my body, on my lap, and brush her and get her knots out. But for this video, we're showing you guys, so that's why we have her on our coffee table. So here's the knot that we just found under Molly's armpit, and she does get knots under her armpits a lot. So we're just gonna shave it out for this video to show you guys how we get rid of her knots. And that's all there is to it. And since Molly was a really good girl, we are going to reward her with some treats. We always give treats at the end so that it's something for them to look forward to. Good job, Molly. And how we give sanitary trims is we just hold our cat's tail up and we usually just shave that area right there. And we're just demonstrating for this video how we do it because we did give all of our cats sanitary trims a few days ago, so we're not going to do it for this video. But usually just my husband and I do it together and one person holds the cat's tail up, the other person shaves, or sometimes I'll do it myself and I'll just hold them on my body and just lift their tail and shave and it usually only takes a few minutes per cat and we do that so that they don't get poo stuck back there after they go to the bathroom because their long fur tends to get stuff stuck to it and we found that if we don't shave that area then it gets really gross so we definitely feel like we have to do that and I would recommend anyone who has a long-haired cat to do that as well because it's just not fun cleaning poo I forgot to mention another thing that we use is cornstarch to help with knots. If our cats have a really big knot that's difficult to cut out or brush out, then we'll pour some cornstarch on their fur, rub it in, and that helps loosen the knot. 
And that's all that I wanted to say for this video. I hope this was helpful. Remember that I'm not a professional groomer by any means, and this is just the way that we groom our cats, and a lot of people have been asking us to share this video, so that's why I wanted to make it. Thank you guys so much for watching.